uh, when I was about two months old, I was sprinkled Lutheran. Um, then from there, I grew up in that church all the way through college. I spent years at church camp there as a camper and there as a counselor as well, volunteered um, all other summers playing guitar as needed and just any other general labor around the camp as needed. And then as I was in college towards the last couple years, I started to fall away um, from the church I had noticed and the, my relationship with Christ was rocky, I would say. And from there, it just, my life just wasn't going the way it should have been. I was kind of in a, wasn't in a terrible place, but I wasn't in the best place. And then I was working at the Stampede. I was met Adam Tauscher there, and I said something to him. I'd only been living here for a month. At that point, I said something like, hey, I'm looking for a church to go to for Christmas Eve. And he's like, hey, you know, check out this place. Here, come to JC3. And so I came up, I flew up from, uh, I was working Christmas Eve. I, I got out of my last show and I just hammered it to get here to make the last service. And I don't know what it was, but this place just started to stick with me from there. I went to TCTC with the group and I just knew that was, I was in a good place for myself. And then I, my, I felt my relationship with Christ getting stronger and stronger over the past couple months. And I went to YPS here and just some of the messages that um, we were given really dug into my heart that it was like I had already been thinking about getting baptized again, especially after I saw the first one here. I would, thought about it and then just over time, it was just everything snowballing and then YPS was like, it's time. And I had said something to Luke about it as well, and then I texted him on the way home and in the back of the Thunderhead, as we call Van One now. Um, and I was like, hey, let's do it this Sunday. So I do want to thank my entire family back home, my, all, all my siblings, including my brother-in-law's um, parents and grandparents. They've always been here for me every step of the way ever since I just, on a whim, was like, I'm going to move to Knoxville, they were with me every step of the way and helped support me every way they could. The entire Price family, um, they have all helped me out from getting here. When I got here into where I am now, they've been a big help just in my life in general and my spiritual life. And of course, Jacob Leimeister, he's the one that volunteered me. I made the mistake one day of saying, yeah, I helped with my church camp back home. And the next thing I know, I'm going on the retreat and I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> Uh, of course, him, and of course, Adam Tauscher, he is the one who got me here in the first place, and he has been extremely helpful overall in every aspect of my life as well. When I first realized I want to get baptized, um, one initial thought was that uh, I was in, or, or heading to Florida or somewhere in Florida around that time, and I was like, oh, I could just have Jacob toss me in the pool there at the resort we were staying at. But then I thought about it a second longer, and then... Um, Adam just popped up in my head, uh, just knowing his, he's, he's the one who got me here. Um, and who, he gave me that kick to get back into church just, just by inviting me. And if it wasn't for that, I would not be where I am now. If it was definitely feasible for them, I'd definitely invite them or to come to JC3 or just to any church in general, just try to go more, you know, talk with people at the church and find, learn their stories, talk with the pastor, the youth minister, or any volunteers, just learn their stories and uh, also, of course, pray about it. So one scripture that sticks with me is Ezekiel 36, 26. It basically says, like, I will take your uh, old heart of stone out and give you a new heart. And that's, when I first saw that verse here within the past couple weeks, I was like, that's where I'm at in my life right now. I'm just, I'm ready to become a new. My name is Jacob, and I want to follow Jesus.